Hello everyone, welcome to Homes for Beginners where I show you how to do repairs around the house yourself. In this video here I'll be showing you how to repair a leaking single handle Moen kitchen faucet. Unfortunately over time the cartridge inside the faucet will eventually have the gaskets wear out causing it to leak on its own. Typically you'll see leaking from under the handle's base and you'll also notice a harder operation with the handle along with squeaking. First you'll need to go under the sink and turn off the water supply both for the hot and cold water. Open the faucet to ensure it's off. Remove the chrome cap on the top which simply snaps into place. Under that chrome cap is a number which may be needed when getting a replacement cartridge. For this cartridge they base the replacement parts off a description and Moen has a lifetime free replacement for their faucets. So if a supplier is going to charge you for a new cartridge, I would advise shopping somewhere else. This cartridge came from one of the big box hardware stores. I would also recommend plugging or capping off your drain. A paper towel works great for this so no small objects such as a screw falls down inside. After the cap has been removed, you'll also need to remove the hot and cold plastic indicator and there is an Allen screw under this that holds the handle in place. There will most likely be thread locker on this, so take your time when removing. If it does become hard to turn, then turn it in the opposite direction, so tighten, and then continue to loosen again. This will help move the material around so it's not binding between the threads. Lift the handle straight off. The chrome sleeve snaps into place and pops off with a little bit of force by hand. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the screw which holds down the valve lever. Unscrew the black sleeve, this can be done by hand. If you are using interlocking pliers, I would highly recommend wrapping the jaws in electrical tape or a cloth to protect the plastic from being damaged. Lift off the white plastic spacer and then unscrew the final plastic piece. Interlocking pliers or a large adjustable wrench can be used for here. Again using something to protect the plastic so the pliers don't cause damage. Opening the repair kit, some of these kits do have extra replacement parts if you do find other components are damaged. This kit only includes a socket type plastic tool to turn the cartridge and a replacement cartridge. And finally remove a C-clip which holds down the cartridge. Remove a small metal washer. Put the plastic socket in place. This locks around the cartridge. Using pliers or a wrench, turn the socket and this will help break free that cartridge. Sometimes it can help to pull it up slightly when rotating. Use pliers. Now pull the cartridge straight up. It would be best having some paper towel or a rag handy as water can spray out which is normal. The water is off but access water will remain inside the faucet until you drain it completely. Draining the faucet isn't needed. As you can see inside the cartridge casing, there is some mineral buildup from the water which would prevent the gaskets from sealing correctly or cause them to wear out quicker. We are supplied with municipal water here, it's not well water. The new cartridge comes with lubrication, so it's as simple as pushing it back into place. There will be an H printed on the one side of the valve thimble, which I'll show you in a moment. This goes to the hot water side of the faucet. If you are installing it the wrong way, it's not a big issue. The cartridge can be rotated using the socket. As for the operation, the faucet will still work, but the hot and cold water sides will be switched. When pushing that cartridge into place, have paper towel on hand ready as water can squirt out. Ensure it's fully in place, then install the C-clip. If the C-clip won't go into place, the cartridge is most likely not seated correctly or it needs to be rotated slightly. Put the washer into place. Install the plastic sleeve and tighten by hand. Put the white plastic spacer into place. Screw on and tighten the black plastic sleeve again by hand. The plastic components shouldn't be overly tight as it's only plastic and you can break it. Install the valve lever and tighten down the Phillips screw. The lever needs to be facing forward so you're able to install the faucet handle in the proper orientation. Snap on the chrome sleeve. Install the faucet handle. Then tighten down the Allen screw. 
put the hot and cold indicator back into place. Snap on the cap and then turn on the water supply to the faucet. Once done, you'll have a proper functioning faucet with no leaks and easy operation. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more DIY home videos. Thank you for watching.